forced the whole Chelsea debacle. Yeah, Chelsea having a night, um, sacking their manager and apparently being linked to absolute nobodies from the championship like Maresca, Thomas Frank, Rob Edwards, and um, what's his name? Colonel McKenna, who of course had used to be Man United's altered assistant coach under Mourinho. Yeah, they, they want a former Man United youth coach, which is... I think it tells you how far Chelsea have fallen as a football club. I, I don't know what to say about that. That is absolutely hilarious. You know, Enzo Maresca first season as Leicester City manager. Yes, he did a good job when he helping Leicester win the championship, but he did Leicester did have a have a very tight running towards the end of the season when he lost something like five out of six or seven games towards the end of the season and very nearly threw away the league title. Um, gotta say it all, Kurt McKenna, I think this definitely deserves credit because, of course, he um, has made it back to back promotions at Ipswich Town, which is no mean feat considering how hard a championship is. Oh my god, that mistake by Guardiola and Ortega, just shocking, poor communication there. I mean, it was just a simple long ball forward, and Guardiola and Ortega couldn't deal with it. I'm laughing, that's, the replay is getting me with laughter, but as for Chelsea, I mean, of course, Kurna McKenna, one candidate, Enzo Maresca, inconsistent spell so far at Leicester, despite winning the league title. Rob Edwards, great job at keep um, um, making sure Luton Town finished 18th in the Premier League and making sure they, 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 they played as worse as they could, but, only, but over the season, he only scored 26 points. I know he was working with Fred Bear resources like Ross Barkley and Jordan and Carlton Morris and a few lots of journeyman players, getting them to play out of their skin, but I don't think he's ready for a job at Chelsea like that. Then, of course, you've got Thomas Frank, who is arguably, I think, one of the best candidates being mentioned, but, of course, his brand of football is just defend and counter-attack against, against just for the sake of keeping Brentford with the championship, and he has been Every light on the likes of Johan Wizard and um, even Tony to score goals when to chip in to make sure Brentford could get through the season. But the fact of the matter is, Chelsea have got some seriously attack talented attack players like Cole Palmer, Matt Wakey, <sighs> Enzo Fernandez, Guy Sado, like. I can't see them being able to respond to like the demands of a championship manager when Chelsea should be going after the likes of Zinedine Zidane, Tuchel, Mourinho. Like, okay, I know all those managers have got problems, but Chelsea have spent a billion pounds and yet they're sacking Pochettino after just one year. That is just mental, folks. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I mean, there's even been rumours that Frank Lampard could be coming in at. Um, Chelsea, but I mean, that's just, that's about as good as um, employing a busted flush to um, sort your toilet out. Like, clearly, Capital have no idea what they're doing at Stamford Bridge. I actually now feel sorry for Chelsea fans, even though I don't really like Chelsea, but they're just, I don't even know what their um, business plan is at, Man United, at Chelsea. I mean, it's even less coherent than what we've seen at Man United for the past decade or so. Because at least Man United are winning trophies. Chelsea are just... Oh, I don't even know what they're doing, to be honest. It's just one message after another, which all contradicts each other. Like, their game plans from week to week will vary from Chelsea um, passing, keeping possession for 75% of the game and then scoring no goals. Next week, they'll be playing counter-attacking football. And then the next after that, they'll be... I don't know, destroying Everton 6-0, and then losing to Arsenal 5-0. So, you know, I think this sack, the sacking Pochettino in the way they, they have really does sub Chelsea up perfectly. Like, that team is absolute chaos. Like, I don't have... I mean, for we know, some character from Coronation Street or East Enders could well be joining coaching staff at Chelsea very soon because... They, they are a soap opera. That is what Chelsea is. Like, there is no passion. There is no aggression. There is no mindset. There is no wishing. R.I.P. Angry Rant Man. That literally sums up Chelsea right now. Thank goodness that poor kid doesn't have to watch whatever nonsense Chelsea are up to right now because 
the Chelsea fans who are alive are literally living in hell right now. 